What other zoos have operated in Chicago? When and why did they stop operating? This was one of Chicago's earliest and most elegant parks. So when you look behind me right now, you see these ball fields. But at one time, this was a very ornamental park with beautiful little lakes and rustic bridges and an observatory tower and a zoo with several different buildings and lots of animals. And it included two bears, several raccoons, ducks, geese, um, prairie dogs, all kinds of different things. It really was kind of looked at as a collection of animals, something to entertain the people who came to use the park. I think it would be horrifying if we actually saw this zoo in a park today, when you look at those cages with the iron bars, and they allowed them to throw anything to the bear. So you'd see photographs of the strangest things. Kids would throw pieces of cake, and you know, even some of those pictures, it looks like they were throwing fish or something at that, that bear. His name was Bob. Having a lot of zoos throughout the city really probably did fall out of fashion. It, the operation of these kinds of things proved to be fairly difficult. And I think as Lincoln Park Zoo continued to develop and it was just became such a wonderful place, people felt there wasn't a need to have so many small ones kind of scattered throughout the city when there was one major zoo that was free and open to the public that could serve the needs of the entire city. The zoo remained for about 20 years, maybe 22 or 23 years, um, but the neighborhood changed quite a bit when it was adapting to become the headquarters for the West Park District. They literally kind of ripped out everything that was in the park and just kind of started all over again. Sometimes you'll find a park like this where there are intriguing stories that are woven in and you wouldn't know until you start kind of digging. This park I find so fascinating because this was a, a very early racially integrated neighborhood. So there's also some really interesting social history about African Americans and white Chicagoans kind of living together harmoniously during a period where there was, you know, a lot of tumult and, and difficulty. Some of this becomes forgotten and I think it's a lot of really important themes for us to understand and remember because Chicago neighborhoods change so much and we really can look back and learn from our history. Mm -hmm.